Hi, in this video we'll show you the most effective way to prepare a package for safe shipping. You'll learn how to pack, seal, and label a shipment so it arrives on time and in good condition. With EasyShip's all-in-one shipping platform, you gain instant access to discounted rates from over 250 shipping couriers like UPS, USPS, and FedEx, all at up to 70% off retail. EasyShip integrates with all the top e-commerce platforms like Shopify, BigCommerce, Amazon, and eBay, meaning all incoming orders sync instantly into EasyShip, allowing you to manage all shipping activity in one simple dashboard. So let's say you've received your first online order. The next step is to gather everything you need to ship, including a shipping container, tape, and packaging. The most important supply is a sturdy shipping container. This could be a cardboard box, plastic bubble mailer, mailing bag, or a tube. The container should be slightly larger than the item within, of an appropriate shape, and strong enough to withstand a long journey. Your package may traverse thousands of miles, conveyor belts, planes, and trucks before it's dropped off. A sturdy container is crucial to its arriving in good condition. Second is tape. This could be packing tape or reinforced paper tape. Avoid using scotch tape because it's not strong enough, as well as duct tape because it's too strong and hard to open. The final shipping supply is the packaging, or the cushioning material, such as bubble wrap, newspaper, or packing peanuts. Packaging surrounds your item in transit, helping to prevent shifting, and that can lead to damage. Now it's time to pack your item in the shipping container. Effective packing will safeguard your item, so fill any empty space in the box with packing materials. Your item plus the packing materials should fill the container space snugly. If the item has room to move, it may get damaged or break in transit. Avoid overstuffing your box as this can cause it to break or tear open and expose the contents within. Fragile items should be individually wrapped or stuffed. Fragile and heavy items may require sturdier packaging like air pillows. Next, place the to and from information on a card in the top of the box. This way, if the box gets damaged or the label falls off the outside, the shipment can be delivered with the information within. Also include a packing slip and the shipping invoice in the top of the box, as these are required proof of transaction. To generate your shipping label and other documentation, go to your Create Shipment tab in the EasyShip dashboard. Be sure to sync your shipments if it's not already on AutoSync. Doing so will ensure that EasyShip automatically generates all required paperwork for your shipments, including shipping labels, invoices, packing slips, and customs documents for international orders. This way, your package always gets the proper documentation needed to reach its destination. The only exception is when you ship with USPS, UPS, or FedEx, all of which use paperless shipping invoices. If you ship with these couriers, EasyShip won't print a shipping invoice because you don't need to pack one and the courier already has this information stored in their system. Once your labels are generated, simply print your documents as a batch or by an individual shipment. With EasyShip, your labels are printed as a PDF and can be customized to your printer settings. Your paperwork will always include a shipping label, a packing slip, and a commercial invoice if shipping cross-border, and a return label if requested. EasyShip even lets you add your own logo and branding to the packing slip as well as your tracking pages. To customize your branding, visit the EasyShip settings in your dashboard. The next step is to seal your package. Grab the tape and apply it along the seams and edges of your shipping container. For a box, use the H taping method to seal along all the box edges and the vertical opening in the middle of the box, top and bottom. For poly mailers, tape shut the top flap or remove the adhesive seal and close the flap. If you're using special containers like tubes, be sure to seal the ends securely in a crisscross pattern. It's important to seal your shipment securely, as couriers may delay your shipment at any point if the box is unsound or damaged. Don't forget to tape the bottom as well, or heavy items may fall through. If you're reusing boxes, remove or cover any old labels to avoid confusion or misdelivery. The final step is to affix your shipping label to the outside of the box. If shipping domestically, you'll place the label on the largest flat side of the box. Be sure not to tape over or cover the label so it can be scanned by the courier. If the box is too small for a label to fit on one side, attach the label so that the address can be read on one side. So long as the barcode can be scanned and the shipping address can be read, your label is good to go. If shipping internationally, your customs documents must also be securely fastened to the outside of your box. This is because, to calculate how much duty or tax is owed, customs officers will check the shipment's contents and their value in your documentation. It's best to use a documents enclosed pouch which is designed to be attached to the box exterior. You can also use a clear plastic wallet or envelope so long as it's well attached and the documents don't move in transit. 
Standard envelopes taped to the side of the package with customs written on the envelope are also acceptable, so long as it doesn't obscure any barcodes on the shipping label. Once you've sealed and labeled your package, you're ready to ship. Bring your package to the local courier store or arrange for a pickup to get your package on its way. With Easy Ship, you can coordinate courier pickups in just a single click to save time on fulfillment every day. That's everything you need to know about packing, sealing, and labeling a shipment. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend. For more shipping how-tos, visit the Easy Ship blog and follow us on social media.